Hello everybody and welcome back to another modded character showcase. We are jumping back in as good old Samuel, Samuel, Sammy, I can never say his name, god damn it. Anyways, we're jumping back in as another one as the scythe wielding maniac he is. Um, good fun with this guy, gotta love him, gotta love him. Good old, uh, good old scythe boy. Yeah, I've been enjoying this, uh, this, this idea of the modded series at the moment. It's, it's some good stuff. It's just, just good old fun being able to, uh, Delve a bit deeper into some of these characters that we don't really get to see as much of on the regular series. Uh, I'm really hoping we can get some uh, some gnarly range upgrades for this guy early on. I mean, this guy just absolutely thrives when he gets a lot of range. I really like the fact that he can like swing over rocks or grab stuff as well. That's just oh, icing on the cake. Icing on the cake for me. Right, like that look. Beautiful. Don't have to walk all the way around to grab that. Ooh, baby. This is, uh, is going to be a weird one. This is going to be a weird one. I do quite like the D100, and it has been many a moon since I've done a D100 run. So, very happy to see it. Okay, try and take out as many of these as we can. But yeah, I'll probably reroll like once a floor, depending on obviously what stuff we already have. I don't want to reroll an absolute god tier fun, interesting synergy run. But if we've not got anything interesting, then I will reroll. Ah, there you go. Take that guy out. It's interesting that, like, when you use Malak Mott, it doesn't actually increase your fire rate, even though it increases the amount of swings you can do. Like, the stat doesn't actually get boosted, which is weird. It boosts your speed stat, though. Weird. But, like, you see here, we get a fire rate boost, and it's actually a fire rate boost, which is, yeah, just, just strange that it doesn't track the same way for both. Bit confusing. Anyways, um... Shall we just jump on down to the next floor? I think we shall. I think we shall. But yeah, obviously nothing to reroll thus far. I think we want to wait until we get three or four items before we uh, try and get a bit kooky with it. There's not much point doing it when we've got nothing to uh, to really reroll. But this is uh, already pretty beautiful. This is it, this has definitely got to be like one of the uh, the the most well thought out modded characters in terms of being very unique. I mean, this guy precedes the forgotten the forgotten is is like based on this guy and not not exactly but i'm pretty sure kilburn did say when he made the forgotten that this guy was an inspiration oh there's some creep on the floor that i did not see darn tootin and we get solar lazarus Giant cell. Okay, that's that's definitely something we're gonna reroll. So maybe after the boss on this floor, we'll uh, we'll give a D100 a go and see what happens. Oh, I was like, do you know what? I'd love this to be a HP up. It ended up being that in a roundabout way. Oh, my mini Isaacs have sides too. I love that. It's the best. They actually do a lot of damage as well. Ah, god damn it. Yeah, they actually do quite a lot of damage as well, like unexpected amounts of damage. Cool. Uh, come into here. And then wail on this guy for a little while. Oh my god, we did so much damage there. And again, yet, an yet another great item to reroll. Um, anything in here we recognize? No. Oh, I I'll gamble. Look down, lovely. Speed up's good. Health up is what I wanted earlier. Range down. Oh, range down? No. I've been looking for range ups, you fool. Right. Um. Well, I don't really know what just happened. I don't know why it teleported us all the way back here. And I don't really know why it seems to have reset the boss fight. But 2020 seems uh pretty good. We also, we have quite a bit of range now, so... Is fighting him again actually going to reward us with an item? That it is. That it is. Um, I'm going to gamble and just take all of them. <laughs> I'm just going to take all of them. Yeah, okay. We might be sticking with this for a little while, you know. We might be sticking with this for a little while. Good, good. Because this is uh, a pretty gnarly setup here. I mean, the absolutely obscene range is my main favourite thing about this. But obviously, on top of that is the uh, 
the 2020 being uh, pretty pretty awesome too. Oh, you can pick stuff up from a mile away. <laughs> it's beautiful. Oh, I'm taking a lot of bad damage though, I will say. A lot and a lot of bad damage. And considering my current HP, not a great idea. We took Curse Penny. I mean, I didn't actually mean to do that, but it allowed us to cheese that room there, so... Not particularly a bad thing. Item room shall hold for us cat food. Another thing that I'm pretty okay with re-rolling. Tinted rock there. Lovely. Ah. Are you kidding me with the double goddamn golden chests? I, I don't even mind golden chests, but I ain't got no keys, game. I ain't got no keys. It's worthless to me. Dingleberry is very good, but this is also really good. Yeah, I, I want to... I want to get keys so that I can go and re-roll those books. Potentially. I don't even know if re-rolling the books is really worth anything to us, but we shall see. Okay, this didn't really work the way I wanted it to. I'm going to need you to, uh, to strike this man. Okay, I can do this if I need to. Just not as fun. <laughs> it's just not as fun. Oh, can we get to this chest? Haha, <laughs> that we can, that we can. Beautiful. Uh, one thing I'm really not liking about this is our speed is pretty abysmal. Our speed is not quite what I wanted it to be. Right. I'm going to Malak Mot here. I'm going to take damage if I don't. Spicy. We've almost got enough to make shop work, actually, as well, so potentially check that out. I will, I will take a look, just in case. Very good stuff there, very good stuff. Uh, I'll bomb you, see if we can get some pennies out of you. Unfortunately not. Oh, there you go, I was going to say, don't make me walk all that way. Um, I've got golden, I've got golden bombs, so why not take this and try and find secret room? Right, let's dither about a little bit and see what we can find. And I think, again, at the end of this floor, I'm probably going to do another reroll. I know that I shouldn't, because... It's, we got such a good setup going on right now, but I don't know. I want to. <laughs> no secret room there either. I'm not exactly sure where it is at the moment. Ferryman here? Wasn't expecting ferryman. Where is secret room? I'm a little perplexed. Right, let's see if we can get bookworm from here at least. Indeed we can. Bookworm, not too bad for us. Where on earth would Secret Room be if not the places that we just checked? I'm guessing it's going to be between that room with a penny in it and the side of this room here. Looks about right. No? Could be here, I guess. There we go. And we get time itself. Ha, I don't need no keys to get this. Queen of Hearts. Two of Clubs. And Jack of Hearts. Right, let's see what all of these do. The Queen of Hearts is just 1 to 20 hearts. Doubles Isaac's Bombs. Converts all of your Soul Black Hearts into a mortal, into a Moral Hearts. Okay, no, I don't want that. Doubles our Bombs is good. And we'll, we'll keep this for later, I think. Right, back to go and get our reroll. Time itself does actually look very cool with the sides, to be fair. I mean, look at them. They're like blinking black and white. I think that's pretty cool. But I'm still going to reroll. I'm still going to reroll. Almost enough to buy another soul heart there, which would be pretty useful. Would be pretty good. It's a, it's a shame that that Jack of Hearts thing doesn't turn all the hearts on the floor into a moral heart. Because otherwise, we could just pop this. And turn everything on the ground into a moral house, and that'd be pretty fun. <laughs> We'd get, like, a whole stack of them. And we can also go and open this now as well, wherever it is. There it is. <gasps> very good item. Not that I'll be keeping it for long, but a very good item. It's just, uh, I suppose, more items the better anyways. Oh, look at that. That's so cool. 
That works the way it does. Boom. Speed up. Oh, uh, we, we kept 2020, weirdly. Health up. Health up. Yeah, somehow we ended up keeping 2020. We did get TM Trainer. Oh, oh no, wait. Hold up. Hold up. Our uh, ID 100 is gone. And we have TM Trainer and this weird active. Okay, this is going to be very, very wacky, I would think. Well, that teleports us to um, a library. I, yeah. Passive item. Passive item. Passive item. Passive item. Yeah, this is going to probably get pretty weird. <laughs> this is probably going to get pretty crazy. Does, does this always teleport me to the library? It seems to, yes, which is kind of strange. Ow, I need to be more careful about taking damage right now. I'm taking some very, very stupid damage. Uh, what the hell? Oh, strange. Okay, I'm going to need some HP pretty soon, game. Oh, actually, to be fair, to be fair. Oh, come on, four? You couldn't have given me, like, 20? <laughs> oh, that doesn't really help. Ah, it kind of does. I'll, I'll at least use them. One sec. Right. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, burn heart is good here. All right, this room's been pretty wacky. Give me that. Wait, what? Oh, the heart didn't go into the burn heart. I see, I see, I see. Right, we have to go back over here real quick. Oh god, this is this is some chaos unfolding right now. How come we're gaining so many of these? Also, we just lobbed a boomerang for some unknown reason. Not quite sure why. I'm, I'm glad that we have a uh, slightly better speed now as well. That's making up for uh, making up for earlier times of having incredibly low speed. I suppose, actually, I can use my active to get back there quicker. I don't need to walk all the way back anymore. My active will take me to the library. Dude! The explosive enemies, man! <laughs> so then we go space bar. Which takes us here. Then we pop this. And we do that. And then we do that. Oh, it was money, God damn it! Money wasn't really what I was looking for out of this. I was looking for the soul hearts. That's kind of the whole reason I did it, but... There you go, we're up to 66 now, so that's something. I should quickly go back to the shop. Probably should check the shop before teleporting, realistically, but... Eh, whatever. I mean, to be fair, shop might not be very valuable, because TM Trainer items tend to run up quite the cost for some reason. They tend to be, uh, pretty, pretty pricey. Yeah, 30. I mean, I'll take it. Fuck it. It's a new active. Um, right. Can we see what this does? Grants Keeper's Kin. On use damage, um, deal damage in tiles around us, then convert all pickups in the room. Use Pumpkin's Mask. Oh, Pumpkin's Mask is risky. Wait. <gasps> okay, this is fine. <laughs> We're invincible. <laughs> <laughs> this is fine. We are invincible now. Pumpkin's mask. Basically, now you gain full. You gain full soul hearts, but every single um six every single minute you lose a heart. But we can use it an infinite amount of times. So that doesn't bother us.
Also, can we just... This does deal good damage, so... Spawn, whatever you are. There you go. It's a little annoying that it does the mask animation, so I'm probably not going to use that a lot. I wonder if it stacks the amount of uses, though. Imagine that if it, like, makes it so that every time I use it, there's a higher and higher chance of it, like, every 60 seconds, then 30 seconds, then 15 seconds. On use, um, grants us range. Ooh, wait. Okay. Um, use half-empty blood vessel, then deal zero damage, then use lifeblood, then convert all. Okay, let's just try this for a minute. Hold up, I think I think I've got something going on here. Right, just wait a minute. We uh wait. Okay, no, it only gives us the range once. I was gonna say maybe it just keeps giving us the range over and over and over again, and then we can just get absolutely ludicrous range off of the back of that, but it does not. Enemies do be turning. Not quite sure what that's about, but it's happening. Oh my god, this is annihilation. Upon taking damage, convert all laser impacts in the room on bridge. On collecting a pickup, convert all cards in the room to Dogma Feather Tier, then deal damage. Convert all pickups in the room to Giga Bombs, then spawn. Yeah, whatever. Sounds interesting enough. Go for it. Basically, I just need to read to make sure it isn't something that's going to instantly kill us. I I, I don't, don't want to not take stuff, but I've just got to read to make sure it's not something that will like, spawn a thousand enemies in the room or something. Right. Good, good. Item room. Hitting enemy has a 5% chance to spawn a coin tier. Killing enemy has a 20% chance to deal damage in tiles around us. Upon collecting a pickup, use Book of the Leviathan and fart. Yes. Okay, I don't know what Book of the Leviathan does, so this could be terrible. But I've done it now, haven't I? Cool. It seems to give us a black heart. I think Book of Leviathan gives us a black heart. <laughs> yeah, we are very unkillable at the moment. <laughs> this run really, really went off the rails, didn't it? Really went off the rails quite quickly. On collecting a pickup, far uh, deal damage. Killing him is a twenty percent chance to grant um, first on for the room. Yeah, why not? Right, we go. Should have probably gone to the devil deal there, but oh well. My God, those farts are big. Yeah, I gotta say it's basically inevitable that. Um, you just enter fart territory on a TM trainer run where everything is farts. For some reason, it's just an incredibly common effect. Oh no, we took damage. What are we got going on here? Matchstick, could you get out of the way, please? Right. Grants a full heart vessel. Hitting enemy has a 5% chance to grant spin down for the room. No, because that'll gloss over our current active, and I'd kind of like to keep our current active. <laughs> oh, this is so wacky. And we got this, like, dice roller thing every time we get hit as well, which is kind of interesting. Yeah, I, I like being nearly unkillable. It's, it's fun. The nearly unkillable seems useful. Also, it does mean we can speed run to the boss. Because we can just do that and we're back up to full health. And it also kills things too. It's like, this 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 active is kind of all encompassing. It's annoying losing speed every room though, because we gain speed from killing stuff, but then like lose it at the end of the room. It's kind of sad to see. 
Health down. Uh, Black Hearts, Juicy Sack, killing enemies with a 20% chance to spawn a fist tier, then use Lem, whatever the hell that is. On clearing a room, convert all keys into butt bombs, then use Larynx. Yeah, why not? Right. Speeding away once again. Unfortunately, we've taken every which I was like, we could just speed run to the boss. Game proceeds to make us take every single wrong turn possible. <laughs> oh, this fartiness is going on here. It's confusing, but it's entertaining. Ooh. Ooh, hello. On a 1% chance as well. Two black hearts, grants a little brimstone, on use, grants a stairway for the room, um, use book us in. Yeah, that's good. Oh, wait. Not what I thought it'd be. It's an active item. We have a lot of um, immoral heart, immortal hearts now. Is that what they are? Is that immortal hearts? Right, hello, mother's foot. How art thou? Get bombed to death. And, oh look. An eternal heart. Um, We will take this one. And I think we'll just go. I don't want to check boss rush because I know there's going to be something in there that I want. And I don't want to risk taking it. <laughs> We've got a delicate balance of uh, of craziness right now. We don't want to overdo it. I don't know what's giving us all these hearts, but it's it's. I think it's good. You watch. Having having twelve of them just kills us instantly for some reason. Oh, I got teleported to this room for some reason. I mean, to be fair, teleport to second secret room isn't bad as long as it doesn't happen too often. If it happens all the time, it's going to be useless because we're just going to get teleported away from the boss fight. No range down for me, thank you. Come on, please let us make our way towards the boss quickly. It seems that this is the maximum amount of those hearts we can have, so we're okay. We're just going to be hearing this holy sound a lot, and a lot, and a lot. It seems like basically every other kill. Well, don't all explode onto him while he's unkillable again. Come on now. Be smart. Oh, really? Just give me an Ember card, please. <laughs> All of this, all the wrong way. I never actually finished this room either, that's even more annoying. Honestly, I'm just taking the damage because I know that we have created just an absolute beast of a run where we cannot be killed. Oh, there's a giant polyp in here. Intriguing, what might you give us? We go and take out all of these fellas first. There you go. Oh, don't spawn another one, you shit. Last one. And we get Grant's Rock Wheel firing a tier five percent chance to deal zero damage, then deal. Okay, yeah, why not? I don't know what Rock Wheel does, but I have it now apparently. Oh, I just took a huge amount of damage there. I don't know what did that. Could be bad for us in the future, we'll see. How is this not the right way either? Dude. Come on. <laughs> the womb is just the worst. All the wrong ways. This isn't the right- what the hell game? How is it those two rooms? How are you going to tell me it's those two rooms? That is- that is not how this game normally generates. Come on now. This is silly. This is silly. Look at that. God damn it. Okay, good. Get a 20% chance to use the gun that killed the past. I don't know what that would do to us, so I'm pretty scared to take it. 
Um, I imagine it would do something to do with restarting the floor, so let's let's not gamble on that right now. I'm going to say, I imagine it's an active, and based on what it does in the Four Souls card game, I don't think it would help us. I think it would probably hinder us. I was able to open that chest just by being near it, apparently. I don't really know why. Perthera. I will take a Perthera. Balls of Steel. Okay, my Perthera disappeared if I'm taking up that Balls of Steel, so... Not exactly the best of options there. Ah, oh, wrong way again. At this point, I'm just walking into everything and hoping for the best. God, TM Trainer. What a what a wacky, wacky way to play. I mean, at least we have the EID descriptions to see vaguely what it's going to do. Even if you read carefully, though, some screens are like... Some, some of the options are like basically off-screen. You don't get any indication. Uh, we've got an active. We've got a passive. Grant's Cat's Teaser? Taser? Teaser? Uh, upon taking damage, deal damage, um, then convert, use singularity, convert, or fires, whatever, yeah, let's take it. Yeah. Oh my god. Still the wrong way. Please don't be the wrong way. So far, so good. Okay. Uh, it did say something was going to happen when I used Malik Mort. I didn't really read what that was going to be. Maybe it's the tower card. So I, just, I did not actually use a tower there. No, I think it's just a random card. Right. Up we go. This has been... Like, insane amounts of chaos. I, I I love how, like, we have, like, three different methods of being invincible right now. We have our active, which just gives us 12 soul hearts on use. We've got this thing that keeps giving us all these immortal hearts. And then we've also got the Leviathan book for whenever we pick up an item, we gain a black heart. So, we are three levels of unkillable right now. The only thing that could kill us is a TM Trainer item that insta-kills us somehow. That's, like, it. Ow. Oh, you used the Hierophant there. That is why I am just walking into everything, because literally, why not? It don't make a damn difference. Hey, that's very nice. Right. Don't know how quick this will be. Oh, I got a Brimstone at the right time there. That was lovely. Easy. Pop that just to gain some more hearts. Down we go. I don't need to know. I didn't even actually check my completion marks this time around. Did I, did I go this way before? Okay. Technically, I didn't, so that's fine. I don't know what I did. Okay, there you go. Yeah. Technically, I hadn't been this way before, so that's fine. Right. Killing enemies 20% chance to far convert or pick up some sad bombs. Convert or lit bombs in the room into Joker, Baby Diamond. Convert all grunt objects into in the room to pick up. Yeah, why not? Um, black heart hitting enemies five percent chance to grant Zuba's revenge. Yep, sounds good. Active item, no thank you. Five bombs grant scythe fossil hitting enemies five percent chance to use a bottomless bag. Yeah, sounds good. Okay, no, the bottomless bag is bad. I can no longer fire. I don't know what the bottomless bag does, but it, it's stopping me from firing, which I do not like. How do I put the bag down? I think I've got to press space bar, yeah. I've got to press space bar to put the bag down, which is inconvenient because it plays this little pumpkin animation every time I do that. I mean, overall, it's, it's fine, but it's just a little inconvenient. 
Especially considering it was on hitting an enemy, not killing an enemy too. It'd be a lot easier if it was on killing an enemy. Ruined Malak Mott. You can't be doing this to me, game. Okay, my guy won't put the fucking bag down. Apparently taking damage puts the bag down. That's 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 a good way out. Yeah, taking damage puts the bag down. So that's that's our new that's our new method. Just take damage on purpose. It's not exactly going to hurt us too much. Cool. Hopefully the boss should not be too hard to find. <laughs> yeah, that's the best way of doing it, to be honest. Okay, this guy I have to actually scythe. No contact damage on him. This little dude throwing out his little, uh, what's it called? Little hook is not, not doing too bad. Here we go, here's the boss. Hello, boss. Oh my god, it keeps happening. It just keeps happening. Give me some of that sweet, sweet HP. <laughs> this is just madness. I mean, to be fair, just hitting myself on him seems to be doing a good enough job. I'm barely trying to hit him. I'm just walking into him a bunch. Seems to work just fine. Got a card there. No idea what happened here. Just no idea what happened. I mean, I'm literally stuck in this room, right? Where well, I traded 2020? No. I thought I was gaining 2020. Oh, my bad. Whatever. This bag has ruined me. <laughs> I don't know what's going on right now. This is chaos incarnate. Of course it gets to this point and we're, we're at the point where we don't know what the fuck's going on. Right, he's in last phase now. Let's, let's just have this not... Teleporters. God damn it. I must have a really, really low chance to teleport. Oh, it's so far away as well. At least I've still got my active item, just in case. Right, back we go. Ugh, really? We got through all these rooms? All these rooms and now the, the goddamn sack is giving us trouble? This fucking bag, man. Just, just bomb the hell out of him. It's somewhat working. I'm still taking a hell of a lot of damage, though. Okay, that, the bombing is working very, very well. Just keep it up with that. It seems like the best chance we've got. Swinging just seems to be pain. Why are all the tears getting attracted to us as well? Like, there's, there's some some wacky shit going on. The tears are getting, like, attracted towards us. Come on, we're so close. Don't, don't screw me now, game. Okay, there you go. We did it. We did it. Holy hell, that was insane. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.